Actually, I'm going to discuss about how to create simple tabular model project inside Visual Studio 2022. So first, I'm going to open the Visual Studio 2022. Then you need to click on this create a new project. Then there you need to search analysis. Then you can create here multi-dimensional project and here this is tabular project import server and this is here import from the server tabular so this that i'm going to select an analysis survey project for creating the tabular model select this then after click on this next so tabular project and this giving the name testing then after click on this create button then at this place you can get so integration work uh, integrated workspace so you need to select uh, this option and this is here integrated work eliminate the provide this all so since i'm using the local or uh, system so here giving the local host for or uh, local system okay thereafter from uh, this place you can select the version of the microsoft sql server so currently I'm using 2019, so that's fine. Thereafter, if you give all the information correct, click on this test connection. So it's uh, succeeded. Thereafter, click on this OK. Now, our tabular project testing that's created. Now the very first step is, thereafter you need to go on this data source and uh, here you need to click on this import from the data source. Import from the data source. Thereafter, here you can see SQL Server. This is for Microsoft SQL Server. You can use any of this or source. Thereafter, after selecting this one, click on this connect. So here, since I'm using the local system, so giving the uh, server name, server that is local host. And after giving the local host, click on this OK. Then this place you can see all these things. So you need to simply click on this database and give the SQL Server authentication. So like uh, if I go this Microsoft SQL Server disconnect and here connect. So this is here SQL Server authentication. Let's give the password. The same thing you need to give this places. So SA and the password here after that click on this connect so this is encryption support click on ok and uh, now you can see the database so here you can see the different database are available but i'm going to select the json because json has this important tables now json selected click on this ok then after this place you need to select some tables so here i'm going to select four or five tables customer film film okay this all selected after that click on this load then tables are loading and uh, it's all succeed then after click on this close now you can see here or uh, this connection created and here this is the relationship between the tables that's come there and uh, thereafter this is the tables that come there so table has some relationship so that it's come there so if you want to see your, your table relationship so this is selected grid format okay so grid format you can see or tables so, or record so this does not have any columns or sorry does not have any records Category has some records, city has some records, this, okay. So if you want to see the relationship between the tables, you need to go on this diagram. So now you can see, there I'm going to make little smaller. So here, this category that is related with the frame category, this is last update and this is last update. Now this integrated with this film and category and actor with the film and here actor with the film actor this all interrelated 
Thereafter, you can see the or uh, inside the solution. This is model and this is the uh, reference. Thereafter, here you can see this all tables so that comes there and this is the relationship that's come there. Okay, and if you want to migrate this all into Microsoft SQL Server, okay, tabular test. So you can see if I click this using the analysis service. So you can simply connect. So you can see or oh, this is the database all available. Now here I am going to migrate this one. So click on this uh, start. So this all success this all migrated transferred there. Okay. After that click on this close and now if I do the refresh then you can see on the table. So Tab or tabular project testing that's come there okay and inside there you can see this is the list of tables so this tables that i selected so that it's come there okay so this is how we can here create a simple ssas project using tabular ssa tabular model project using visual studio so this video about that's it and the next video i will discuss about how to cal how to create calculated group and thereafter roles then or uh, measures translation this all i will discuss in my next video so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you